Sanyo RP 5055, 1978. This is the documentation of the experience of a hobby project, made with the hope that it could be helpful to others. But any comment that could help me to improve my practice is also welcome and appreciated. Unlike most of the other videos in this series, this particular one shows a very simple cleaning process, and there is no extra written documentation attached to it. There is not much information about this radio available online. It is mentioned on radiomuseum.org where one could find that there is a similar model, the RP5055U. However, no schematic diagram is available for either model. This is the first test of the radio. The radio is still alive and operational, apart from all the contacts that should be cleaned. At this stage, it is unclear if the electrolytic capacitors need to be changed. The wires connecting something outside the printed circuit board are wrapped on their specific post on the PCB. To separate the various parts of this radio, it is advisable to disconnect the wires from the external connections without touching these wire wrapping and their posts. In this case, to separate the antenna, it would have been better to detach the wire from the base of the telescopic antenna itself. The battery compartment was full of residues of substances spilled out of abandoned batteries. All the contacts have been affected by corrosion.
The third screw holding the printed circuit board was not easy to locate. The small case is cleaned, starting with a small cotton ball soaked in alcohol. The process might appear tedious, but it does not require much attention while doing it, and therefore it becomes relaxing and therapeutic instead. Old toothbrushes become useful tools for cleaning. In this case, however, one must pay attention to the area of the loudspeaker for not damaging it. Toothbrush is used diagonally to avoid reaching the speaker cone through the grill holes.
The cleaning process proceeds very slowly, and there is still the second half of the case to clean. Cleaning the small board with the battery contacts is even more difficult and time-consuming than for the whole case, but it is still a therapeutic process.
Also, the printed circuit board deserves some cleaning, especially the volume potentiometer and the band switch selector. With the help of an external power supply and of the bench loudspeaker, it is possible to test the board before putting it back in its case. There is an LED lamp which is making a lot of noise in the medium wave band. Turning it off, the noise disappears. The radio is then put back together.
this little contact board is still a reason for concern. And in fact, it is needing more attention.
This little contact board is not ready yet. Here is the transistor radio Sanyo RP5055, made in 1978, after all the cleaning.
Victoria, hay dos. You get sick? Yeah.